What's going on, Crunch Nation? It's Crunch here coming at you with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, boys, we're going to be going over how much coins we made this weekend, how I went about doing it, and how you guys can do some of the same things that I did this weekend to make as much coins as I have. Yes, you might need a good bit of coins to start out with, but if you have that, you can keep making more coins. I uh, Basically, this weekend, I went in with about 1.5 million coins. Um, give or take a little bit there, but I added a 91 Walter Jones. I added Dion Sanders and we powered him up. Now Dion looks dirty and I mean dirty, especially on uh, maxed out Ravens, uh, chem 95 speed, 95 Excel, just dirty, but that's not why we're here today, boys. I am going to post a spreadsheet up and I'm going to go over that with you guys basically just going over the different things and then I'm going to show you some of the filters and stuff that I go about when I'm trying to get these investments so make sure you guys stay tuned for the whole video if you're new to the channel what we do here we do a bunch of coin making methods gameplay steam teams pack openings pretty much anything you can think of for Madden Ultimate Team. If you do like the content, make sure you like the video, helps us get the video out to a lot of people and helps us grow the channel. Comment and subscribe, turn the noti bell. Definitely helps us out. I do this video every single week just to show you guys how much coin you guys can possibly make. So um, right now I am going to be posting up a picture and um, there it's broken down with quite a few different things. Um, on the picture, you're going to see the weekend investments. That top part is basically cards that I just went ahead and bought and relisted. You're going to see a buy price and then you're going to see a sell price. Now keep that sold price in mind because that is after taxes. A lot of times what I'll do, I'll purchase these cards um, after the market crashes on a Friday or a Saturday. Uh, Friday, uh, it crashed quite a bit this time, but yeah, you buy them when they're at their lowest price and then Sunday night, Monday night, you go ahead and relist them and take the profit that you can get. So that sold price is after EA taxes. So keep that in mind. Like as you can see, the Lane Johnson, I bought them for 104K. I sold them for 115K. That's after taxes. So if you're looking at it, I probably average sold them for about 127K. I normally round down unless it's like really close to the top part. Uh, the next part you're gonna see is training bought. This time I did something a little bit different. A lot of times I will just buy pieces for legends and rebuild them. Unfortunately, I was out golfing a lot of Saturday, so I didn't really have that much opportunity. So what I did, I bought a lot of training and I used a training method where I've used a ton of training and I put them into heavyweights. Now, some of the heavyweights sell for a lot more than the other ones. So what I was doing and by my math, it cost 5,000 coins to reroll an additional time. So if I didn't hit a Lane Johnson, if I didn't hit a Richie Incognito or a Brandon Linder, I rerolled it. You have a 60% chance of hitting those. Richie Incognito normally was the easiest one to sell for a higher price. I got lucky when Brandon Linder, um, whenever I put them up, they were price gouged a little bit and they all sold. So I got lucky there. And Lane Johnson, normally you can make a decent profit on there too. And all these prices are after EA tax. So keep that in mind as well. But we'll go over it a little bit. The Lane Johnson, I, like I said, I bought four of them for 104K and sold them for 115 so I made 11k per some of these 80s and 82s 83s I was just dabbling into them you can definitely do that if you guys don't have as many coins definitely something you guys want to look into but just buying relisting the Lamar Jacksons because Michael Vick came out his price really plummeted same with the Russell Wilson that you see on that all those prices really went down so um, it was a good opportunity to invest in them because I knew their prices would shoot back up a, a little bit. And one of my favorites that I like to uh, invest in is Larry Allen because on weekends, his price normally goes down to the normal 89s right early Saturday morning, and then it shoots back up to 150K. Um, I normally, 
whenever I can make a profit, I do it. And that's what I'm going to tell you guys. I could have made more coins on a lot of these cards, but instead of waiting until, you know, the price might fluctuate. If I see that I can make, you know, I made 20 K per on the Larry Allen's. If I see I can make that and just be selling them for, you know, 140 K instead of 150, I'm just going to do it because I want to make that for sure profit because you want to make sure you're making coins. You never know what's going to happen. This middle part here is the uh, training bot. So this this was the cheapest training over the weekend, 87s, and uh, I was able to snipe some 89s. Now, this middle part here, you're going to see rerolls times seven. Like I said, for the training method for the heavyweights, if you didn't hit it, it's going to cost you 5k more to reroll. So even if like I was averaging about 90k for the training to get 3600, you know, if I have to put an extra 200 in for the 5k, so be it. You know, it's going to cost me an extra 5k at initially because of the reroll because it costs 200 extra training. So the average cost to do that reroll is 95k, and if I had to reroll again, went up to 100. So not too shabby there. You're still gonna make a bunch. And unfortunately, I had the bright idea of buying Dion's whenever they went down to um, 560k, and then they shot back up to 660. I was being greedy. I thought they were gonna go back up even more, and they didn't. So they went back down to 60k, and. I lost out on some coins there. So I factored that into, you know, not everything's gonna be 100% foolproof, but I did lose 95K between those. And as you can see, each one's brought, broken down into the profits that I made per, and I made 907,000 coins this weekend. That is huge, boys. 907,000 coins is a big come up for one weekend. All you guys gotta do is get on that phone app and do as much as you guys can that's basically what i do i use the phone app go back and forth i don't really do it on xbox very much because i think it's harder to actually snipe cards and you have more options to filter down cards um, by you know clicking on a card and then searching see if there's other ones that just popped up but uh, my big thing was you know going to the 88 89s finding cheap training doing that same thing with the 87s you're just going to want to go you know through heavyweights find prices you know you don't even really have to sort much more here right now because other heavyweights haven't come out but as you can see some of the prices have dropped but the one key here and that's something that you guys want to look out for incognito seems to always be one of the higher ones he always is right around 140k and when he drops you guys can pick him up and he will come back up as long as there's not a better left guard that comes out um, then his price will probably just stabilize with the other cards but keep that in mind he is the best left guard in the game and very accessible so if you guys have any questions at all um, you know doing certain things certain cards to invest in please comment down below let me know if this helps you guys out a lot I appreciate all your guys' support. If you like the video, like I said, make sure you like it, comment, subscribe. Um, don't want to miss out on the weekly content that we're putting out with the coin making methods. We do post videos daily, a bunch of other things, so make sure you check those out, boys, and we're out. Peace.